Hey everyone, this is your favorite friend Jay, and today I'm so excited to kick off the Women's History Month by talking about a film that would really matter to all women. Seriously, as someone who worked the nine to five before, as someone who has been in the workplace madness for so long, longer than, longer than you can imagine, still working nine to five really resonated with me. I had first seen the original 1980 directed by Colin Higgins movie, nine to five starring the amazing the ever evolving and the forever young dolly Parton, jane fonda and my favorite comedian lily tomlin also dabney coleman uh and i loved it back then because i felt like i could relate even though it was made in 1980 and as it was one of the breakout i think the most breakout comedy of 1980 it kind of like stood at the top of the box office for long it was the highest grossing film of the 1980 comedy section, I think. The documentary is the best complimentary piece to it. Like, why am I not seeing this documentary? Like, if I want to see a movie, I want to know what went on behind it. I want to know what happened. I want to know the procedure, the process. This movie directed and sent to me by my amazing new friends, Camille Hardman and Gary Lane, really tackles all that it talks about it it discusses it it gets you inside the head of all the people who are involved in this amazing and magnificent project first of all they talk to all the actors but also they talk to more and more exciting people like Alice and Janie Rita Moreno and um you have Dolly Parton of course and Lily and Jane and you have even Dabney Coleman uh, so it's very cute they talk to a lot of the political activists who were involved in the nine to five women's groups were supposed to help women in the workplace stand by them listen to their concerns they kind of like dissect the political scene back then and how it was how different it has been how the film was revolutionary for the times and how they had to make it a comedy and why also the effect of dolly's power as you know like this country hot country singing hotshot coming to the movie i think it was her first starring role and Jane Fonda's political background and how it affected people receiving the movie, how they had to convince people that it was a comedy, like very farcy, very slapsticky, and how Jane was actually backing up this project because Jane is this passionate woman taking on projects that resonated with her, that meant something to her, dynamics, how Patricia Resnick's original script was kind of dark and how Colin Higgins came and made it into this lighthearted comedy. Um, it's a story about three women in the workplace. Each one of them has a different um, story, background story that kind of relates to a lot of people. A recent divorcee, a widow, and a happily married woman who just happens to be very feminine and that attracts her all the wrong attention from awful, seedy, gross male bosses. You just want to watch it and you want to have fun, but you also want to know what happened and what was the backdrop of the story what was the background of everything that happened so you want to watch Camille and Gary's documentary however we cannot find this documentary anywhere it's not on any streaming platform and my question is why why can't we find it why can't we find this movie anywhere and what about if I want to watch it like what if I didn't connect with Camille and Gary what would have happened how could I have seen the magic behind this film? What made the formula? What were the components that made this formula work? So what I hope as we are starting the Women's History Month, uh, that we will all hear good news about this movie getting picked by a streaming platform, but also that Camille and Gary are continuing their dreams of making films this documentary is funny this documentary is informative this documentary is very well researched and all the interviews are so interesting to watch seriously so please write me in the comments if there is anything you want to ask about it if there's any message that you want to send to Camille and Gary and have fun 